This is WWE's Jerry the King Lawler and Mountain Empire, this is your wrestling. Southern States Wrestling Show, friend here, Bo James. Some people like to call me the King of King Sport, and I've got some action to bring you right here today on Southern States Wrestling. I'm talking about right here today, we're going to see our very first special called Profile. We're going to take a look at Ricky Morton and Robert Gibson, the Rock and Roll Express, who's getting ready to come right back here to the Mountain Empire for their 30th year reunion together. 30 years keep on rocking tour coming to the Mountain Empire. I'm going to show you what happened in Johnson City a couple of weeks ago and we're going to talk about what's getting ready to come to Johnson City. Teased you a little bit with it last week but I'm going to bring you up to date right here today. Also we're going to kick the program off with a longtime Mountain Empire favorite. I'm talking about the powerhouse from Bristol Ray Idol who's in better shape than I've ever seen him in folk before. He told me he's ready to come after Eric Dark Storm in that Southern States title. He's ready to find a partner and come after Frank Parker and Scott Sterling for the Southern States tag titles. He said it's been a long time since he's had gold around his waist and he's ready to get it. Well let's go to the ring right now from Johnson City and take a look at the powerhouse of Bristol, Ray Idol. Here we go, our first ever look at Stephen Hayes as he battles longtime favorite here, Ray Idol. And Stephen Hayes, I don't know a whole lot about you, but I can tell you, buddy, you're not going to match power with Ray Idol as he just found out right there. Great ovation for Ray Idol when he came to the ring tonight. The people solely standing behind him, their powerhouse from Bristol. They love this man. He's what a great role model for kids. And look, they're using the power just wringing his neck, wringing his head. That's how you get cauliflower ears right there. Stephen Hayes already finding himself in trouble here against Ray Idol, a former Southern States heavyweight champion, a former Southern States tag team champion, a television champion. You name it, he's had it. And he's after the quest. He's after Eric Dark Storm. He told me he cannot wait for November to get here to start chasing that title again. Oh, there, take it. That's legal blows. Forearms right in the rib cage. Going to throw Ray in and just get ran right over. Ray Idol is a powerhouse, and he's big, he's bad, and he's strong, and I'm going to tell you what's even worse than Ray Idol standing still, that's Ray Idol coming at you. Stephen Hayes already rethinking his game plan as he came in here thinking he was the big man, he was the bad man, he was going to outpower Ray Idol, but he's found, not found out you're not going to do that, and if I was Stephen Hayes, I would not go for the test of strength here because look at Ray Idol, best shape I've ever seen him in, and just taking control. I think Stephen Hayes come looking for a fight and he's found a wrestling match. Oh, just a fly of the foot kick right there and a knee right to the side of the head and Stephen Hayes has found himself in a lot of trouble very quickly. Look at the way Ray Idol can just manhandle him, drag him around the ring. What's he setting him up for here? Do people want to see it? Big spinning leg drop. Well, I got to say this, even for a veteran, even for a championship quality wrestler, Ray Idol, that was a very lazy cover. You're going to have to hook a man's leg you're gonna to have to get on top of him if you want to beat him right back to the arm and just oh man Ray Otto can pull a man's arm right out of the socket just like that Stephen Hayes may want to rethink the tank he may want to head towards the showers just go ahead and give it up because he has found himself in a lot of trouble very fast Hayes has a great reputation Coming out of the Empire Wrestling Coalition, he asked for this match. He challenged Ray Idol. He said, hey, I could beat them, the guy that's been a champion around here. Well, it's, it's not looking good for Mr. Hayes. Anyways, Mr. Hayes said he could get a big-time push-up in the ratings, and not only EWC, but even maybe get in the SSW ratings by victory over Ray Idol. But I'm going to tell you, he must be rethinking this challenge at this time right here because Ray Idol is just taking his arm apart. Referee in there to ask him. Now, a little bit of a mean streak coming from Ray Idol. Usually we don't see this, but he's already got the man's arm hurting. He's going after his leg, too. Now just pushing his upper body down. He's trying for that submission hold. He wants to get him. Hayes not going to give it up. Ray Idol picks him up again. Going to shoot him in the ropes. Big clothesline that's like running in a tree trunk. And i got to say it again. 
I think Ray Otto may be underestimating Mr. Hayes here. Two very lazy covers, sloppy covers, that he may have won the match with if he would have got a hold of him sooner. Right back to the arm, though. you got to give him that. He knows the fundamentals. He knows what to do. He's going to shoot him in the corner. What's he going for here? Is he going to put Mr. Hayes away right here? Look out. Oh, man. Over the top and a bad spill on the floor. Ray Idle's in trouble. We move ahead in the action here, and you can see the look on his face. Mr. Hayes is putting it to him now. Steve Hayes, look at his left arm. He's still holding it close to his body. He's still trying to shield it a little bit. That shows you the damage from early on. And just, oh, man, I don't know if that was a stomp or a kick or, I don't know, a knee maybe. You can see the pain in Ray Idle's face. Mr. Uh, Stephen Hayes may have got a pin right there. Just knuckles to the throat. Knuckles to the throat. I'm going to tell you, if he would have covered him after that stomp or knee that he just delivered, he may have got a three count. Now he's just going in for a choke. I've said it for years. If all else fails, choke a man. Because that will slow him down, and that's exactly what he's doing right here. Ray Idle in trouble for the first time. Whoa, he gets out of the way. Miscalculation from Stephen Hayes. Ray trying to get his breath. I think he hurt his hip or his knee also when he went over the top rope earlier. I don't know if he can get it. Fans getting behind him. He's getting up. Referee now putting the count. No, he stopped the count. Ray Otto going up to the second rope. What is he going for here? Missile drop kick. This may do it if Idle can get over there. I think it took as much out of Ray Otto as it did Stephen Hayes right there. Referee counting both men. Are we going to get a double count out? Is someone going to get to their feet here? Hayes still... Holding his arm, still hurting, trying to get himself up. Ray Idle trying to get up. Both these men. Okay, Hayes to his feet first. Here he comes. Oh, just an open hand, just a chop right to the neck. Another chop to the neck. Hayes for a big round. How'd he miss this? Atomic drop, you don't see that much anymore. And that's kick right in the chin. I believe that is it. There's the hook of the leg and the cover. And a big win for Ray Idle in Johnson City here tonight. Give it to Stephen Hayes. He didn't give up. He come at him with everything he had. He tried to outpower him. He tried to outwrestle him. He tried to outfight him. But Ray Idle is your winner here on Southern States Wrestling. There you saw him with a very impressive win. Ray Idle gets the win over Stephen Hayes. I'm going to tell you, Ray looks great. He's in great shape. He's ready. His mind is focused. He's coming after some titles here in Southern States Wrestling. Last week, I told you about some other people that's coming back like Thorne. He's coming after some titles here. I've heard rumors that John Noble's coming back to Southern States Wrestling. I've heard nu numerous rumors of people who are going to debut right here in Southern States Wrestling in the month of November. And let me tell you, some of them are going to surprise you. Some of them are going to shock you. And you're going to have to be down there in Mount Carmel November the 3rd to see exactly who it is and to see what's going on here in Southern States Wrestling. Now, let's not forget about... The November 3rd, 30 years of rocking tour. The challenge has been thrown out there. Southern States Tag Team Champions Frank Parker and Scott Sterling have challenged the legendary Rock and Roll Express for the North American Tag Team titles that we saw Rock and Roll win right here on this program a couple of weeks ago. Right here, next week on this program, we're going to start announcing matches for November the 3rd in Mount Carmel, Tennessee. Also, I told you last week that Frank Parker and Scott Sterling had sent in some video. We hadn't had a chance to look at it. We cleared it. It's all right to play. Special look at the Tag Team Champions as we go to break here on Southern States Wrestling.
Calvary Baptist Church, 1238 Pine Street, Kingsport, Tennessee. Regular schedule of services, Sunday, 9.15 a.m. for Bible study fellowship class for all ages. 10.30 a.m. worship. 6 p.m. blast for children, wake for youth. Sunday night life for adults. Wednesday, 6.30 p.m. children and youth activities. 3D Bible study for adults. With the economy changing almost daily and not always for the best, let HassiesKitchenTable.com keep your food budget under control. Leave the work up to us as we find inexpensive recipes, cooking, and shopping tips. You will soon have all the tips, ideas, recipes you need to feed your family well on a budget and have fun while doing it. If you are part of a nonprofit organization, listen to this. You now have the opportunity to bring the wrestling TV stars to your town and make money for your group. Over the past two decades, Southern States Wrestling has helped raise money for church groups, schools, ball teams, volunteer fire departments, children's hospitals, Ronald McDonald House, scout troops, and many more. Our staff is waiting to hear from you and get started on what could be your biggest fundraiser to date. Southern States Wrestling and your group are the perfect tag team to raise the funds you need. Now let's get ready to boogie. It's the 30 Years of Rocking Tour. Ricky Morton, Robert Gibson, the Rock and Roll Express return to the Mountain Empire. Saturday night, November the 2nd. Union High School, Big Stone Gap, Virginia, bell time 7.30. Sunday, November the 3rd, 6 p.m., Armed Forces Center Armory, Mount Carmel, Tennessee, just minutes from downtown Kingsport. More dates to be announced next week, so watch Southern States Wrestling right here on Tri-Cities TNN next Sunday, 7.30 for more information. Don't forget, 30 years of rocking, Saturday night, November 2nd, Big Stone Gap, Virginia, Sunday, November 3rd, Mount Carmel, Tennessee. Be there. There you saw where you can catch the stars of television wrestling when they come to a town near you. It's hard to believe that we're already talking about Christmas night Star Wars and the Thanksgiving super spectacular extravaganza that comes around every year. This year is almost gone, but let's not overlook November the 2nd, Big Stone Gap, Virginia. Union High School, let's not overlook Sunday, November 3rd, Mount Carmel, Tennessee, right there at the beautiful Armed Forces Center Armory. And let's not overlook Johnson City, Tennessee on the 26th at the Carver Rec. 26th of this month right here, October. It's a nightmare in Carver, and it's going to be a nightmare for a couple of guys. I'm going to tell you all about that just in a few minutes coming up here. But I've told you last week, and I told you earlier in the program, we've got a new segment here that you're going to see each and every week on Southern States Wrestling. It's called Personality Profile or the Profile. And this week, we thought it would be fitting for the Rock and Roll Express to be the very first profile right here on Southern States Wrestling. 30 years together. No other team has done that. No other team has won the amount of tag team titles that they have. World titles, national titles, regional titles. They've won them all, it seems. North American reigning champions right now, and they're bringing those belts right here to the Mountain Empire. Let's take a special look at the Rock and Roll Express. Throughout the rich history of professional wrestling in the Mountain Empire, it seems that every top tag team of its day has competed here. From the late 40s to the early 70s, weekly wrestling events in the Tri-Cities were headlined by such great tag teams as Herb Welch and Tex Riley, Al and John Smith, The Fields Family, Gene and Joe the Corsica Brothers, The Gallagher Brothers, Don and Al Green, The Hines Brothers, the Von Bronners, Tex Riley and Lynn Rossi, The Fabulous Fargos, Bill and Joe Sky, The Blue Infernos, Terry and Ronnie Garvin, East Tennessee native Jim White and Jerry Lawler with their manager Sam Bass. Let's not forget our home area legends, the masters of the East Tennessee dog whoopings, Ron and Don Wright, and their feuds that are still talked about to this day with the biggest sports star our area will ever know, Whitey Caldwell with his partners Les Thatcher and Kevin Sullivan. The mid-70s saw Southeastern and Mid-Atlantic Wrestling come to the area featuring even more great teams like Johnny Weaver and George Becker, The Assassins, Bob Orton Jr. and Mr. Knoxville, Ron and Robert Fuller, Dennis Condry and Phil Hickerson with their manager Ron Wright, The Minnesota Wrecking Crew, Paul Jones and Wahoo McDaniel, Tag team competition did not slow down in our region in the 80s with events headlined by the teams of Ricky Steamboat and Jay Youngblood, Don Carnoodle and Sergeant Slaughter, Dick Slater and Bob Orton Jr., Dusty Rhodes and Manny Fernandez, 
the awesome twosome of Wahoo McDaniel and Tully Blanchard. Barry Windham and Mike Rotunda. The Rich Cousins. The RPMs. The Armstrongs. The Stud Stable. And many other great teams had success in this area. But none had the success in the connection with the fans more than the Rock and Roll Express. In 1983, Ricky Morton, a second generation star from Nashville who had been successful in teaming early in his career with Ken Lucas, Sonny King, and Eddie Gilbert, formed a team with another young wrestler he had known for several years, Robert Gibson. Robert is from Pensacola, Florida and the younger brother of wrestling great Ricky Gibson. The Gibson brothers were one of the top ranked teams in the world, holding titles everywhere they went. Ricky Gibson's career was shortened by injury and Robert was looking for a partner who could wrestle with him and adapt to his high-flying, fast-paced speed. The pairing of Morton and Gibson and their rock and roll lifestyle was box office magic, setting records across the Mid-South in 83 and 84. In 1985, they set their sights on the World Tag Team titles and moved to the Mid-Atlantic area. In July of 1985, the Rock and Roll Express pulled off one of the biggest upsets in pro wrestling's history. Defeating the hated Russian duo of Ivan Koloff and Crusher Khrushchev for the NWA World Tag Team titles. Ricky and Robert would go on to hold the NWA World Tag titles seven more times through their career. Over the years, they hold victories over a who's who of tag team wrestling. With wins over teams like the Four Horsemen, the Road Warriors, the Fabulous Freebirds, the Guerreros, the Grapplers, Jim Cornette's Midnight Express, the Nightmares, Randy Savage and Lanny Poffo, the Bruise Brothers, Jim Cornette's Heavenly Bodies, Ricky and Robert have also collected world, national, and regional titles, including eight times NWA World Tag Team Champions, Smoky Mountain Tag Team Champions, USWA World Tag Team Champions, CWA Tag Team Champions, Mid-South Tag Team Champions, Southern Tag Team Champion, and they are the current and reigning North American Tag Team Champions. No team throughout history has lasted 30 years together. No team throughout the years has as many world titles. No team has had the constant and faithful following of wrestling fans that Ricky and Robert have shared for the last 30 years. You know, Ricky, some things never change, but we're out there tonight, about 4,000 people, what do we do? We rock the house, people screaming, rock and roll, rock and roll. Hey, we're coming your way. And we're coming your way, that's right, because on November the 2nd, we're gonna be in big stone gap <laughs> down at the high school, back in our old territory, Robert, back on our stomping grounds. So no matter who you are, come on down to see us, but let's don't stop there. How about let's go down to Mount Carmel, Mount Carmel. down at the National Guard Hi. Armory yes, on November the 3rd, and we're gonna have it in the afternoon. Boys, let me tell you something. When rock and roll get together, all we do is create stormy weather. We'll see you at Stone Gap on the second, and we'll see you at Mount Carmel at the National Guard Armory on the third. Double your pleasure. Hello, family and friends. Before I get started talking here today, I just want to remind everyone that this month is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. That's the reason why you see that I'm supporting my pink right here. I just want to say for all the ones that fought through it, got through it, congratulations. God bless you. And the ones that are fighting, keep on fighting. Don't give up. Now on top of that, I just want to say that there's two major events coming up that I'm super excited to be a part of. I just cannot wait. Rock and Roll Express, Rockin' 30 Years Tour. November the 2nd, we're going to be in Big Stone Gap, Virginia, which is not too far from where I was born and raised in Gate City, Virginia. November the 3rd, we're coming to Mount Carmel, Tennessee, which is not too far from where I live now. And just remember, on that night, Celebrate Rock and Roll Express Rockin' 30 Years Tour. We're also going to be celebrating 25 years of my husband, Bo James, being in the wrestling business. Now that night, we're going to have some special prizes, you know, special people coming in. A little surprise for him, because this is, I'm extremely, extremely proud of my husband for going through what he went through. Him fighting so hard and him keeping the tradition of wrestling alive for 25 years. I'm very proud of him. I love him for it. But I just want to say that both of those nights, November 2nd and November 3rd, I'm also going to be in action. I got a top contender that's coming in trying to take this belt away from me. As everyone knows that I am country strong and whenever I step into that ring, I mean business. I want everyone to come out both nights Come and be a part of an extremely 
great event that's going to be taking place November 2nd and November 3rd. Other than that, I just want to say God bless everyone. I love you all and see you all ringside. Attention Mountain Empire. Do you have a business, website, products, or an event to promote? Let us help you reach the masses with TV and internet ads. For just a few dollars a week, we offer commercial spots on Southern States Wrestling and the Appalachian Showcase reaching over 150,000 homes in the Mountain Empire and the world with YouTube. Don't wait. Jump on this opportunity now to reach a large audience for an affordable price. Email sswking at aol.com for all the info. Advertising packages you cannot afford to pass up. Hey you, get off the couch and get out to Samson's Gym. In St. Paul, Virginia. Dauntless equipment, free weights, Smith & Cable machines, step aerobics, boxing equipment, cardiovascular equipment, tanning bed, drink bar, fitness wear supplements, and more. Plus an instructor on duty at all times. Call 762-7170. Samson's Gym, your one stop for fitness since 1990. If you are part of a nonprofit organization, listen to this. You now have the opportunity to bring the wrestling TV stars to your town and make money for your group. Over the past two decades, Southern States Wrestling has helped raise money for church groups, schools, ball teams, volunteer fire departments, children's hospitals, Ronald McDonald House, scout troops, and many more. Our staff is waiting to hear from you and get started on what could be your biggest fundraiser to date. Southern States Wrestling and your group are the perfect tag team to raise the funds you need. Now let's get ready to boogie. It's the 30 Years of Rocking Tour. Ricky Morton, Robert Gibson, the Rock and Roll Express, return to the Mountain Empire. Saturday night, November the 2nd. Union High School, Big Stone Gap, Virginia, bell time, 7.30. Sunday, November the 3rd, 6 p.m., Armed Forces Center Armory, Mount Carmel, Tennessee, just minutes from downtown Kingsport. More dates to be announced next week, so watch Southern States Wrestling right here on Tri-Cities TNN next Sunday, 7.30 for more information. Don't forget, 30 years of rocking, Saturday night, November 2nd, Big Stone Gap, Virginia, Sunday, November 3rd, Mount Carmel, Tennessee. Be there! Welcome back to Southern States Wrestling Show. Friend here, Bo James, and time is rapidly running out here on Tri-Cities TNN as it does each and every Sunday night. Also, if you're watching us on line around the world, YouTube, Blip TV, Facebook, wherever it is, Thank you for taking out some time of your busy week to catch up with what's going on with not only myself, but the stars of Southern States Wrestling. We're so pleased, so happy that you keep up with us. Our numbers on YouTube keep growing each and every week. Facebook likes keep growing each and every week, and we're so happy that everybody's liking what we're doing here in Southern States Wrestling. But I want to bring you up to date before we get off the air today. I told you earlier about it. I told you about it last week. The 21st of September, I went to Johnson City, Tennessee for AIWF Empire to be a part of their very last event at the Legion Street Rec Center. A building that I grew up going to see ICW and Continental and Southeastern Wrestling there. I saw Andre the Giant there. And I saw Ron Fuller and Harley Race, Nick Bockwinkle, Tommy Rich, Randy Savage. I saw so many people there growing up. 14 years old, I was selling programs there. 15 years old, I was putting the ring up selling programs. 16, I was in the ring in the rec center. I had some of my first matches there as a referee, some of my first matches there as a wrestler, right there in the rec center. They said, do you want to be a part of this? I said, you better believe I do. They said, we want to put you against a guy named J.D. Anderson. Well, maybe four or five times in my life have I ever crossed paths with this guy. I really don't know him, but I've heard about him. I've heard what he said about me for a long, long time. A lot of people are tough behind the keyboard or on the phone or when you're not around. Well, J.D. Anderson sent his valet out there to talk about Misty James, my beautiful wife. She called her out, said she wanted to fight her. Misty's not going to back down from any wrestler, any valet, any manager, it doesn't matter. You call her out, she's coming. That's exactly what happened. Then JD and all of his thugs get in the ring and they want to corner and they're going to try to beat up a woman. It's four or five on one. I wasn't going to let it happen. Out I came, things got heated, got out of control. Dr. Tom Pritchard hit the ring with a chair. Next thing I know, we're in a tag match. Matchmakers, 
from there, and the matchmaker, Mac McMurray, from Southern States Wrestling was there. He said, let's make it a tag match. Let's settle this right here tonight. Let's take care of it the one last time in the rec center in Johnson City. Well, they got some footage. If they'll roll it here on my, my uh, monitor, I'll take a look at it, and I'll explain to you what's going on and what happened there. There was a double where they ran into each other, double head knocker. They hit forehead straight on. It crossed both of them's running lights. There you see their valet that's always sticking her nose in JD's matches, Brett's matches, and Misty's going to have none of it. That's a good old-fashioned Gate City butt whooping she's laying on those girls right there, and just an open hand slap that just rocked his teeth. Now we don't have to worry about the outside trouble. I'm only worried about Tom making that tag so I can get in there, the referee can see it legally, and we're going to take care of him. Mulligan makes the tag. There's the tag to me, and I was ready, willing, and waiting on him. Shot to the stomach, big chop, open hand chop to Mulligan, uppercut to the chin, another uppercut to the chin. You want to rake eyes and pull on people's noses? Let me show you how to do it. Now Tom's getting to his feet. We're ready to go. They wanted to fight. They got it. They talked about it for weeks. They talked about it that night. They went out there several times interfering, going on with other people's business. They're going to find out, and right there, both of them going to the eyes, both of them on me, to the floor I went. I give it this. They're double tough. I give both of them this. We come in there not expecting an easy match. We knew it was going to be a fight, but right here, just a little bit of experience, a little bit smarter. Both of us outsmarting J.D. Anderson, Brett Mulligan. One, two, three count. There it was. The last ever match at the rec center in Johnson City. Oh, man, I got my head ran right in the pole. They're all going to jump on me and Tom here. But you see, part of this wrestling profession for the James family is it's our family business. So they want to fight down. They want to get dirty. They want to play the numbers game. Well, I've always got somebody extra hanging around there, and I'm talking about my nephew, Jake Booth. And if he thinks he can't help it and even it up, if it's still out of hand, he's going to bring something to me that's just a little bit extra. And you're going to see it right here. That's the bull whip. And I've not had it out in a while. But let me tell you, it restores order. Brett Mulligan, J.D. Anderson, the referee, and everybody else that didn't want no part of it ran for their lives right there. 26th of October, Tom Pritchard and I are coming back to Johnson City. and We're coming for a fight. I hope you're ready. I hope that old school mafia is ready for what's coming with us. There you saw what happened in the tag match it involved Jake Booth getting involved, my wife getting involved, valets getting involved, managers. It was wild. We can only show you a little bit here on TV. The fight went on after that. The fight was all around ringside. The people did not want to leave. They wanted to see it finished. Well, J.D. Anderson, Brett Mulligan, and all of his buddies ran away. They said they weren't going to fight anymore. October 26, Carver Wreck, Johnson City, Tennessee. I am returning to Johnson City. I am returning to AIWF Wrestling. I am returning with Misty James. I am coming back with Dr. Tom Pritchard. And we are coming to settle it. No disqualification. Anything goes. And I've heard right here on this program next week that J.D. Anderson and Brett Mulligan have bought some time to view their views of what is going on in this altercation. But I'm going to tell you this, boys. Tom Pritchard told you that night he's ready. I told you I'm ready. The 26th of October, we're going to be ready. We're coming right there to the Carver Wreck in Johnson City, Tennessee. So if you're anywhere in the area, don't miss it. Also, don't forget about November the 2nd. Big Stone Gap, Virginia Union High School, November the 3rd. We're right outside of Kingsport in Mount Carmel, Tennessee. Next week, we're going to bring you up to date on matches that are being signed for November. We're going to tell you about some more stars that are coming back to this area. We're going to show you another new pro profile right here next week. We're also going to hear from the guys that like to call themselves the old school mafia, which I can laugh at that because I wear Bill Ash boots and K&H wrestling gear, and I don't even think they understand what that means. But that's all right. Right here next week, it's going to be another exciting 30 minutes. God bless each and every one of you. Thank you for watching. It's Bo James saying so long from the Volunteer State.